So today is the first day of lockdown. My name is Monique Smith, I'm a medical doctor here in Rukersdorp. Decided to do a daily diary as we don't have a lot of information available to medical staff and medical doctors regarding what's happening on the ground in general practice. Um, government sector, we've seen lots in disaster situations, but we are still in the early phases, so um, I thought I will make some attempt to relay some information. So, I am a bit anxious, not knowing what to expect, what's going to happen today. I don't know if we're going to be busy. Morning, morning, guys. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm not completely sure what's going to happen today, what to expect, if we're going to be busy or not. So, yeah. Let's see. Our, the streets are quite empty, so I think that's a good thing. I've only seen two cars so far. Just left the the estate so let's see two cars so far but let's see what happens I don't, I'm not fearful what I'm fearful I'm anxious um, and I think the anxiousness anxiousness has got much more to do with the fact of the unknown we feel so totally not ready for this I don't feel this any specific plan we're going to play it by ear and see what happens. There's no step-by-step -step process to say if this happens this is what we're going to do and if that happens this is where we're going to go to and I think that's more the issue to me than anything else. And I feel so unprepared um, not knowing the not knowing, I think, for me is the biggest fear. Up to now, well, there's a few cars, not many. Up to now, I think that um, everybody has been taking it too lightly. People aren't taking it serious enough. Yes, the, well, the past week, people were rampaging the shops, standing close to one another, chatting, laughing. So I don't say we must be morbid and depressed and crying about it and fearful but we need to be wise about it and I don't think people are I don't think they think it can happen but I expect especially with the situation with low immune systems in our country with TB, HIV, diabetes, malnourished, um, overpopulated areas I think we're gonna see big big problems and until people start taking it really seriously we can see lots of deaths um, I don't think people realize what's coming and I'm not a doom prophet or anything like that but I think we need to be realistic and looking at what has happened up to now in other countries I am, I am stressed for our people I'm stressed for my kids Anything that we 